Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Sarah Grinelli. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. A student in Wolverham has tested positive for COVID-19. The school superintendent says all parents with children that may have come into contact with that student have already been notified. The school is set to continue its hybrid learning model as scheduled. And a brush fire burning in Hamden this afternoon. The fire is on Summers Road. Crews say they have had a call a helicopter in to dump water onto it, but due to complications that has been postponed till Monday, officials are investigating what sparked this fire. And the Massachusetts Department of Public Health reporting 348 new cases of COVID-19 today. The total number of confirmed cases in the Bay State stands at more than 125,000. The state also seeing 15 new deaths from the virus, bringing the statewide death toll to 9,100. I'm first warning meteorologist Don Maher. Well, another chilly night tonight under clear skies as temperatures will once again fall back into the 30s. Plenty of sunshine coming our way tomorrow, but it is going to be another cool day. Now we will start to warm these temperatures by the middle part of the week, and we're also going to remain dry throughout a good part of this upcoming week. But there is a frost advisory up. Eastern Hampshire, all of Hamden County, 1 o'clock Monday morning till 8 o'clock Monday morning. The remainder of Western Mass, their growing season has come to an end as temperatures dipped below freezing overnight last night and into early this morning. But as far as temperatures the next couple of days, there is a moderating trend. Mid-60s tomorrow, near 70 on Tuesday. Mid-70s as we head on into Wednesday. Looks like the warmest day of the week. That will be Thursday with temperatures getting into the mid to upper 70s. There will be the chance for a few showers around here on Friday. Does not look like a big deal at this point and then we try to dry things out as we head towards next weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.